Hi, Virgo, Summon Rising in Venus. This is what we got going on for September 4th, 2023. If you'd like to make a purchase, you can go ahead and do so at tarotbarbie.com. I got Crystal Sage Incense, personal readings, and much more. Let's get to Virgo's coming with the Six of Swords, the Four of Wands, and the Justice card. It looks like somebody here has been waiting a while. They're contemplating on whether or not they want to come back towards you, or this is simply just you guys at the end of the day with the Six of Swords, Three of Wands, and the Two of Pentacles. Somebody here keeps going back and forth, back and forth on whether or not they want to reunite with you. Could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Aquarius. <sighs> A Pisces, a Leo. <laughs> mm, let me see who else. Have you on the Leo energy? Uh, Aries, Taurus, Libra, Leo, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. All right, and a Libra. Um, but nonetheless, they are coming towards you with the Six of Swords, the Three of Wands, and the Two of Pentacles. Even though they may have moved on from you, they look like they want to come back towards you and they want to heal their relationship with the Four of Wands. They are coming in for. Uh, a reunion maybe even reconciliation but this person is coming with an offer some of you guys might be really upset or disappointed with how things may have turned out between the two of you guys but i think more so they are also sad and disappointed too with the way that they treated you or the way that they took action on you the way that they did something here towards you break your heart hurt you juggle you moved on from you ghosted you whatever it is that they may have done it looks like they are going to be returning back towards you but though we need to remember because we are also in mercury retrograde so it looks like a lot of people are going to try and come back towards you guys to make amends with you this person is definitely hoping that they're going to be able to get you guys back there could be a Taurus Virgo Capricorn who sees you like a star they see you as somebody who is filled with love hopeful faithful you know loyal the entire nine you're just simply a star you're the way that you grow the way that you Wow, I'm not going to tell you guys that. <laughs> the way that you guys glow, the way that you guys are presenting yourselves, the way that you guys shine, it's really all coming down to the way that you guys simply shine. You're like a beam of light energy. So with the star card, this person's obviously seeing you. You are the star card to the king of coins. And they are viewing you. They are seeing that. They obviously want to work on the relationship with the justice card, ace of swords. They know that they are going through a lot of stress at the moment with the devil card and the nine of swords because they've been through a lot of toxic shit themselves. But they're also trying to find ways to let it go and release it. I don't believe this person's able to get away from it as much as they would love to get away from it. But they are working on it slowly and steady. They are trying to get out of it, but they kind of put, keep putting themselves back in these three-party situations or they're partying or they're drinking or they're spending a lot of money on their foes with the three of cups knight of pentacles taurus Virgo, capricorn taurus Virgo, capricorn once again and i don't think deep down you guys really want anything to do with this energy with the five of pentacles you are going to leave this shit out if this person continuously uh does the exact same things over and over and over again so if you guys are planning on letting this person back in i just want you guys to know that it doesn't look like they may have changed it looks like they're still doing the same shit over and over and over again but they obviously see you as a star they see you as somebody who's shining bright light <laughs> honestly and it looks like you guys had to defend yourself in some sort of way with the nine of wands but you're not wrong you're not wrong for feeling that way you're not wrong for setting your boundaries you're not wrong for understanding what you deserve right eight of pentacles you've worked really hard on yourself and you're going to protect that you're going to protect your energy you're going to do what you need to do to make sure that you're not going to allow anyone to come in and disturb you disturb your peace otherwise you're going to block people left right and center and you're going to protect yourself and protect your energy you are a force to be reckoned with strength card you're so much more stronger now and i think a lot of people have underestimated you underestimated your strength uh there's a lot of incomplete incomplete cycles oh, whoa what was that there's a lot of incomplete cycles from a lot of people who are now wanting your attention what is this some crazy ass shit, Virgos. I swear, the energy's fuck, fuck shit. <laughs> uh, but there is a lot of people with the Six of Pentacles who are gonna be begging you for your love. You know, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This person obviously wants to come towards you too. They want to. They're gonna be beg. They're literally gonna be begging you. Like, please, can I take you back? Please, I. I that, and you're like, no, seven of wands. You're like just setting your boundaries. You're letting this under person understand where you stand you're not going to allow this person who played with you to come right back as if it was it's as if it's like just normal and it's okay for them to just run back towards you as if you're going to open like open the door to them the answer is like no right now the answer is going to be no seven of wands you're definitely protecting yourself you're protecting your energy you feel like it wouldn't make sense for this person to come towards you guys especially if they were giving to other people and especially if this person was being a player and going up against you a lot of manipulative shit here with the five of sword energy i'm not going to go too much on the five of swords but just be aware virgos especially from any setups 
uh, set up two of swords, a hangman, page of cups, and the nine of cups. So they're going to try and apologize to you because, okay, so once they apologize to you and start communicating with you, obviously you guys are going to feel good about it with the nine of cups, but this is like a long period of time with the hangman, two of swords, and the five of swords. They're obviously worried that if they come back towards you, you're going to like just not re like not want them but i think you guys are gonna be like literally feeling yourselves with the nine of cups like ha 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 i knew you're gonna apologize i knew you're gonna come back like this type of energy is how i'm seeing it with the nine of cups right but they're obviously in their head with the five of swords and the hangman because maybe some time has gone by maybe this person doesn't really know how to come towards you maybe it's going to be during the new moon maybe it's going to be two weeks exactly from now and maybe even maximum five weeks from now this person's going to be contacting you reaching out to you right but this is the energy for monday so expect this sentiment energy to come in from monday and furthermore because we're talking about the future in this future energy over here coming into the near future with the four of swords maybe this person ghosted you guys but they obviously have to go within with the four of swords they are going to reach out to you and speak to you maybe this person's going to message you at nighttime when you guys are sleeping and you guys are probably not going to be able to respond back to them right away some of you guys are going to be a little bit cautious with how it is that you guys want to choose to respond back to this person when they decide to contact you but you are putting your best foot forward and you're going to be very strong you're going to be very intellectual you're going to be very straightforward you're going to be very blunt and you're going to let this person understand where it is that you stand with the two of wands you're ready to pick up that wand to like like literally this that's exactly what you guys are ready to do because in the end it's like they're trying to plan a future with you but it's like you have something different for them at the same time because you don't have time for their bullshit their immature shit you don't have time for them to be always curious and always asking you questions what are you doing who are you with what are you where are you going why were you why were you sleeping for for the love of god why didn't you answer my text message or my phone call well it's like you were sleeping you what do you mean like too many questions is coming in from the page of swords and it's just frustrating and i don't think you guys like it queen of swords judgment's called being called in you guys are probably most likely going to release it and let it go uh they're going to try and tell you if they want to be with you but i think them doing that with what they did over here is like a turn off for you five of wands and with the six of cups virgos they are going to try and come back towards you guys gemini libra aquarius is coming in for you guys virgos they're going to try and communicate with you and try and tell you that they want to work on the relationship but even then it's like what is the point two of cups they want to work on this they want to be with you but there's so much pain and so much heartbreak and so much betrayal and you guys might end up re like having to release this person's energy in some way shape and form because of the three of swords too much pain you guys if you guys are dealing with an aries leo sagittarius is saying this is going to be a th coming in as a three-party situation you guys are going to have to decide between a gemini libra aquarius and aries leo sagittarius however though while this one wants to come back towards you and, and talk to you they might all be about sexual energy maybe this person's a little bit controlling dominating whatever it is it's whatever it is there's just a lot of pain here with the three of swords and if this person's not going to be able to get you back they're definitely going to be heard about it uh wow virgos that's fucking weird eight of cups lovers card they want to come in they want to work on the relationship but how are you going to work on a relationship with somebody who cheated on you right king of wands aries leo sagittarius ace of wands you guys carry the power you guys carry the passion you guys carry everything that you need lots of communication is going to be coming in but it is going to have to be a transition that's going to come in with the death in revert with the death in upright so with the seven of pentacles in reverse you guys feel like maybe it's not something that you guys want to invest in with the two of cups it's just going to cause you guys stress with the eight of swords to know damn well that what is the point of you guys taking somebody back who didn't appreciate you who who took too long somebody here took a very long time stagnated energy coming back coming and going coming and going stagnated not talking not hearing from them two weeks goes by you heard from them one time you don't understand what the hell's going on you know you choosing yourself in the end with the queen of wands and the sun card is the best thing that's ever happened for you guys and i think you realistically you guys should be very very proud of yourselves at the exact same time i'm going to read this energy in a different way as well <laughs> Coming with the Six of Swords, you guys look like you've been through a lot of crap in your life. That's for sure. That's for damn sure, Virgos. Look at the Six of Swords. It's also fuck shit. You see all that dumb shit right here? You see all that red? That's somebody who's been through a lot of shit in their life with, for unnecessary shit at the same time. But you guys look like you're healing and you're ready to move on with your life with the Three of Wands and the Two of Pentacles. Right now, you guys are trying to figure out and decide what your next moves are going to be. You definitely have the infinity symbol on you. So no matter what anyone does to you guys... <sighs> They're all going, everyone's going to suffer for what they've done to you, Virgos. Uh, Spirit's like just simply letting you guys know, like you guys have the rite of passage way. You guys are these pleadings, these star seeds, these light workers. You guys have done exactly what you guys needed to do. And you guys should be very much so proud of yourselves with the three of wands. Look how this three of wands, look how she stands with the three of wands. 
She stands very, very proud, ready to release everything that wasn't meant for her and move over, move towards bigger and better things, right? You guys have a lot of abundance, a lot of happiness because you guys are are these cute spiritual people. You guys have you guys feel absolutely everything and anything. So when you guys are in your feelings, it's definitely devastating because you just feel really sad about a lot of things that have happened. But in the end, there is you guys are look like you're shining with the king of coins to the star card. You're bright. You're you know the serious star sign is coming for you guys. Chiron is coming through for you guys. Plus what did they, what would you say? Uh, so they're talking about the new age of Aquarius. This new age of Aquarius that has taken place in the year of 2023 is, is, is very big energy. Like if you guys know how to work with it, utilize it, there's, there's just a lot of shit that's happening, especially with the recession and everything that's going on around it. Just please, if you guys don't mind Virgo, just Google the new age of Aquarius so you guys can really tap into figuring out exactly what it is. I cannot go any further than that. I'm going to need you guys to do a little bit more work for yourselves. I can just say what I need, I can talk about, but I, then I need you guys to do the rest of the work so you guys can help yourselves out on your spiritual journey. But they are talking about the new age of Aquarius. So maybe some of you guys are going to be hitting some fame and fortune. Maybe you guys are going to be in the star in the starlight as well. This is just simply the new age. Like the recession. They keep talking about recession, recession, recession. There's just a lot of shit that's going to be going on. But I don't believe that you guys are going to be a part of the system or stimulation in any way, shape, and form. You guys are going to release yourselves from it. And you guys are going to carry on just fine. With the star card to the king of coins you guys are looking brighter and better than ever. You guys have felt like you've gone through a lot of losses around you, but they're saying, nah, you didn't lose nothing. Everything in the universe is happening exactly how it's supposed to happen. And with people attacking you, it's also happening exactly how it's supposed to happen. Why, Virgos? Because you are the seed. You are the seed. They're either going to latch onto you and they're going to be down for you 100, or they're going to go against you and they're going to have to listen and they're going to have to learn their karma and they're going to have to learn the lessons of their karma in the most detrimental ways possible. If they latched onto you, if they stuck onto you, if they decided to be a part of you, instead of them coming up against you and recruiting on you and being your opposition, now this is the time for them to all get all the way fucked up. With the Justice card, Ace of Swords, that's a you dat. That's you guys getting your justice for everything that these people have done onto you. That's you getting your justice for, for the dark shit that they have sent your way, Devil card, Dinosaurs. These people are getting all the way fucked up. They're getting all the way fucked up they tried to put you in the dinosaurs they tried to put you in the devil energy they tried to keep you blocked they tried to fuck you guys up these people are nothing but weak even with the devil energy it's like that reading that i did for you guys like a long time ago maybe two months ago and i was talking about how when the when the demon came through and he was talking about how he's like yo barbie you don't even know how fucking weak these people are i can make them do anything and everything and and it takes something so small for them to be utilizing this dark dark energy and it really does come true like it like it really happens like these people really be sitting here thinking that this dark spirit these dark and when they sit here and they invoke these dark entities and these dark spirits of the underworld they think that there's something special they think they're superior they think there's something i don't know what the hell it is that they're thinking with the devil card to the nine of swords but they're only doing so bad onto themselves because if they even the devil is like yo i can make i can i can your enemies he's like i have your enemies stuck to me like glue like this is literally what it's like literally this is exactly what it's like when, when it comes to your enemies because if they have no hope like your enemies they have no hope they're so lost spiritually all they know how to do is evil shit all they know how to do is invoke dark shit all they know how to do is hurt and harm people and that's exactly why the the devil likes working through these people because clearly the devil needs to do bad but the there's there's rules <laughs> there's rules to the underworld you're not allowed to hurt an innocent soul in person and the underworld knows that so them sitting there and attacking innocent people hurting and harming innocent people virgos these people are going to be suffering left right and center um knight of pentacles maybe these this person came through to try and pay a few people to come and recruit on you but they're saying they're all going to fall in the five of coins and you guys are still going to win with the king of cups you guys are superior you guys are the spiritual people you guys are fair you guys are light workers you know when you're a light worker like this with the king of cups and you're standing up right like this type of energy it's just simply saying because that nobody nothing nothing nobody can do is going to be able to hurt or harm you they're all going to fall and you guys are still sitting highly up with the king of cups you're very highly loved 
spiritually. Like the way that you guys are si sitting with that king of coin, king of cups energy, you guys are looking better than ever, honestly. And anything that your enemies are doing unto you guys, it is definitely going to be detrimental for them in the long run. You're defending yourself, you're protecting yourself. You've been through a lot of darkness, but you're also uh, setting your boundaries. And anybody that comes towards you, they are going to have to feel the repercussions of their actions with the nine of wands. And you guys are going to be victorious because the work that you guys do is much more better. You're so gifted, Virgos. Spirits and angels are going to always tell you guys to protect your energy no matter what. You guys are going to continue to focus on yourselves, focus on your work. People pro try, try to put you guys through a lot of dangerous energy. But it's not going to stop you from you guys getting to where it is that you guys need to be because you guys are strong and powerful. The world card is coming in reverse for your enemies. Your enemies are going to be trying to ask people for help left, right, and center. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, this person's getting all the way fucked up. Them doing the things that they've been doing onto you guys, Virgos, it's really showed them how strong and how powerful and how protected you really are, especially when you guys are setting these boundaries for yourself. Everything that these people have done onto you is now officially being reversed. They did some stupid spell on you guys to fucking sacrifice you in some sort of way, but they're saying, nah, uh, you're blessed anyway nine of cups you're gonna be just fine there's nothing anybody can honestly do onto you guys who's gonna hurt you or harm you in any way shape and form virgos you guys are gonna be just fine hang man these enemies of yours are stuck in the shit that they have created for themselves two of swords are also gonna be blocked on an intuitive light type of level two by the new moon your enemies are not gonna be able to tap into their intuition anymore four of swords because you guys are strong and wise over everything that you guys do your enemies are trying to figure out if they fucked you up they're saying nah they never fucked you up you're gonna continue to speak up and say what you want to say you're a lot more stronger and you have discernment within you judgment's going to be called in on all your enemies with the five of wands that pentacle belongs to you guys the king of swords they're they are, are going to have to sit down and really think about the things that they've done to you guys in the past with the three of pentacles that's them working doing dumb shit onto you guys and they might want they're going to have to go to the to, to the lover's car somebody here is working side by side with somebody maybe this person's in a relationship maybe they're married maybe they're in some sort of uh connection with somebody but they are going to end up being hurt and heartbroken over the relationship they are carrying with the king of wands um in the end virgos you guys are the ones that are carrying the love the passion the fierce energy all this energy that they tried to bring towards you guys to try and end you guys in some sort of way that energy is coming for them with the death in upright seven of pentacles nothing that they can do to manifest on you if there's two people that are working side by side with each other that's in a relationship they're going to suffer from all the binding spells that they have done onto you which is going to hurt and harm their mental health because that's exactly what they wish for you you're way too strong powerful witch energy queen of wands sun card you guys are free from the situation you guys defeated your enemies you guys are the ones that are strong way more powerful than your enemies you guys can overcome anything and everything that these people have done onto you especially when it comes to two people specifically who are working Working side by side with each other who are might be married to each other or even in a relationship with each other your their shit is catching up with them with the eight of swords and they're about to feel it they're really about to feel it. they're gonna realize and see how strong and powerful you really are and how protected you really are that tower is coming in on your enemies virgos they're gonna have to fall onto it because they tried to put you guys through so much stuff but because you guys are divinely loved and protected and cared for by the most high with the hierophant that blessing is coming for you guys with the ten of pentacles your spirit guides and your angels love you guys very much and they're not gonna let you anything happen to you with the eight with the page of pentacles ten of cups just keep focusing on your prosperity your abundance some of you guys are wondering when you guys are going to be receiving your abundance or your happiness but they're saying now nah, you already got it empress energy nine of pentacles you guys are single happy and healthy but you're also very wise very intuitive very powerful very my god magical they're talking about how magical you guys are and you know there's nothing that you've lost everything that you guys lost was not meant for you in the end of the day you guys are going to continuously focus on yourselves and focus on things that make you guys happy and you guys are very much so protected and also very much so grounded at the exact same time this gemini libra craze continues to try and attack you guys but they're nothing but a fool and where are they going to lead to they're going to lead to the seven of swords and the ten of sword energy why are they going to lead there because they continuously go through these same fucking cycles and they think that they're never going to get caught but they've already been caught with the fool card these, they're saying that your enemies are nothing but stupid and foolish for the things that they've done you're so highly intuitive and there's nothing that anyone can do onto you that will ever stay on you thanks cuties bye